Another area of your brain linking the two sides that we began the presentation with is the corpus callosum. It links the two sides of the brain which have different orientations, different processes. It helps them work together and over time, during the teen years, you go through a completely renewed rewiring of it. And what's going to help that rewiring are the very things I hope that you're already doing. Music, art, sports, challenging, challenging yourself with academics. It takes time. Your brain is a work in progress. Now, I've really been emphasizing work, hard work. I've been emphasizing practice, repetition. But I also need to emphasize downtime. You have to have downtime for this stuff to happen. You need downtime and you need sleep. Now, when you have downtime, we know from research that even daydreaming, which I hope you're doing, and spending too much time in front of the screen will block daydreaming. You need to daydream. We are geared, we are designed to daydream about a third of our time. That is not a bad thing. Because when you and I daydream, the brain becomes most active in the frontal lobes. That's what we want. We want activity there. Second, areas of the brain become even more engaged when we daydream, which are normally quiet. And the third thing, fourth thing that happens is that when we daydream, we form new connections in the brain based on what, we were, what we've already been learning that day and then they get consolidated at night while we sleep. So sleep is very important. 